Hey guys, Blood Groove here. Today we are taking on the challenge of this Victorian Ox with 73 functions. And uh, this came in from Dirk Warning. Uh, I'll include a link to his uh, YouTube channel and Instagram. Uh, Dirk was kind enough to lo loan this to me so I could check it out and uh, check out all the different features. Uh, there are 73 functions to this knife and uh, if you'll bear with me, we'll go through each one of them. Something kind of fun to do, a little different. Um, you know, you've got a Victorinox knife. You, you've got to go through each function, right? You got to see what which each item is. So let's see. It's give me a little bit of a lengthy video, so I appreciate your patience and uh, and I hope you enjoy it. Maybe uh, maybe something to do where you're really, really, really bored. Um, let's see. I guess I'll have to my glasses on for this one well maybe not kind of get in the way there all right so we have the victorinox swiss champ with 73 functions for collectors and uh as you can see here it's a pretty good sized knife um you know what hold on just a quick moment for me all right, thanks. I'm back. Appreciate your patience. I had to get something that I forgot to get, but something that Dirk Dirk always uh, compares his his uh, knives to, or he likes to. I think he uses a triple a double A battery, but here we are, just for a size comparison. We have a double A battery, or excuse me, a triple A battery there, and we have a D cell battery right there. So as you can see, it's a pretty big knife, height of a D cell. And pretty good width right there. So it's a good size knife. In fact, check this out. This is how big this knife is. What's that you say? You want a Big Mac? No problem. There you go. It's the Big Mac of Swiss Army knives. All right, let's go through our functions here. So we've got 73 of them. Um, I don't know if we're, we got them in order or not, so we'll let's see if we go through. Let's see. I guess let's start with this side here. We've got our, let's see, this is the small blade. <coughs> Excuse me. Small blade there. Next is... A large blade. Before I continue real quick, let me actually do the measurements of this thing for you. So it is three and a half inches uh, long, I guess you could say. And then uh, about two and a half. Yeah, just about two and just under two and a half inches uh, high or wide. And then it has a standard Swiss Army knife thickness of uh, about three quarters of an inch there. <clears throat> All right, where were we? So we did, we did the small and we did the large. And the next, let's see, this was... Next we have a file. Let's see, what are they, do they just call it the file by itself? Nail file with metal file and nail cleaner right there. Let's pop that right up underneath. And they say it has a metal, oh, okay, there's a little saw underneath here. You see that? See those grooves right there? So there's a little metal saw right there. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go with this bottom one first. All right, next we have the... Um, Flathead screwdriver uh, with the wire stripper and uh, the bottle opener. And 
and that's let's see yeah okay and on this side what is this hmm let's see Okay, this is the electrician's blade with wire scraper. So, it's where you scrape off the wire. No, no, that's not that's not it. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That The watch opener. I guess to when you got to pry off uh, That's I don't know. I mean, I know on watches you have that on the back to do the battery. You, normally you turn it, but I guess some of them maybe have a, a little pop-off or something. I'm not certain, but it's calling it a watch opener. Okay. And we have... Let's see if I can get through this without breaking a nail somewhere here. So we, then we have the uh, driver here with the flathead screwdriver. And this is, what do they call them particularly? I guess they don't really have a name for it. I don't see anything on it. Oh, here we go. Okay. So they call it a, a bit wrench. No, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is a bit wrench and we have a, with the bit wrench, they have a female hex drive five millimeter for D sub connectors, whatever that might be. Uh, female, Hex drive four millimeter for the bits, uh, Torx eight bit, uh, hex four millimeter bit, and a bit case with a Phillips zero size, Phillips one, Phillips two, slot at four millimeter, a Torx ten, and a Torx fifteen. And so you could you'll see that actually. Let's just do that again. So there's one, there's two, we've got two of those. And then here you have one and two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, get those all the way in there. And these lock pretty securely, so they're not going anywhere. Okay, let's see, so we'll get to that. And we've got, if I can get this open. And this is the spatula, I believe. The pharmaceutical spatula. This is for when mixing, uh, mixing, uh, uh, or counting pills. So you just put count stuff to separate pills. Goes back that way. Next we have, okay, this is the electrician's. Um, the electrician's blade, the electrician's blade, and then that's the wire scraper right there. Skip that underneath there and pull your wires out. Or strip it, I guess. But that other one had the wire stripper so, and then this is the pruning blade. Just pop it up against your rose, pop there, pop it off there. I'm, I'm going to give Dirk a full sample of fingerprints, I think, on this. <laughs> okay, where were we? That was, that was the pruning, okay. Next we have, I believe it's the scissors here. Yep, these are 
pretty large in comparison to most of your small knives, uh, small Swiss Army knives. And do they just call it scissors or do they give it a special name? Nope, they just call it scissors. This is, is that an all? Let's see here. No, that's not it. Okay, so yeah, actually that, not an all, but a, it's a reamer, a reamer and a punch. There's actually, it seems to be another one on here as well. So this is, Probably the larger one, I guess. So a reamer and a punch. Then we come to the magnifying lens. And it's got fingerprints on it. Those aren't mine, I didn't touch it there. There we go. And then right here is the flashlight. Got two batteries in there. Then we have let's see here. Are we going the right way? There are the scissors. Did I miss this one? Yeah, I missed this one. Okay. And this is some sort of saw. Let's see. Large blade with wavy edge. So I guess a, a serrated blade, basically. Your steak knife. I'm going to go through here and clean all of these off. And then I'm going to charge Dirk a cleaning fee. How about that? <laughs> Let's see. All right. And that was the scissors, that was the reamer, and that was this large saw, or the, the large blade with wavy. And we have something underneath here, here we go. And this is, let's see. This is a fish, fish scaler with hook, disgorger, and a ruler in centimeters. And the centimeters here and uh, inches on the back. So you've got three inches there and seven centimeters. And okay. Then we've got the other uh, bit driver, which we've already looked at. And we have some pliers. And do they just call it pliers? Do, 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 do. Do they even show it on here? Oh yeah, pliers. Oh, okay. Pliers with wire cutters. So I guess we got the wire cutter right there. Let's see. Pliers with wire cutter. Okay, so that's the crimping tool. And I guess the... Where's the cutter at? Oh, this is... I guess you would crimp right in here, actually, because the way those are shaped on the pliers. You can crimp right in there. And then this is, I guess... The cutter. I don't know. That seems kind of more of a crimping tool to me there. I don't see where else you would cut it, though. All right. Before I forget, we've got the the key ring. They consider that a function. And we've got the uh, Phillips screwdriver. And 
What is this? Hmm. Let's see. Okay, so that's a universal wrench. And within those teeth here, you have a M2 and a half, metric M3, M4, and M5. So just get the screw, the, the bolt head up inside there, and wherever you need to be. Boy, I can't believe we're already almost done. I thought it was going to take longer than this. And then we have here the, let's see. This is the can opener with the small screwdriver. Small screwdriver there, can opener here. And then we have a large screwdriver. Let's see. Okay, actually, this is a combination tool. So it has a bottle opener. Bottle, bottle open. No, wait, is that the right one? No, that's not it. I'm sorry. That was the other one we looked at earlier. Okay, so this is a bottle opener with a screwdriver and wire stripper. Well, well, that other one we looked at earlier is what I thought that was, but the other one was, let's see. What was that other one? Okay, this was, I thought this was the bottle opener. This is actually a combination tool. So it says it's for bottle opener and uh, can opener, screwdriver, and wire stripper. So I guess you get two different wire strippers. I guess that's all of them. And then on the sides we have Uh, tweezers, so get that all the way in there. Oh, before I forget this too, and we have a corkscrew. Okay, so there's a couple on the side too. So, so we got a corkscrew, and uh, let's see if I can get this out. And then this is a eyeglass screw. Okay, so then these other two things here. You've got a, a ballpoint pen. And what is this? And then a toothpick. And then let's see, what else do we have here? Some, something here. Okay, what are they calling that? They're calling that a fine screwdriver. So it's just a lot smaller size screwdriver. And then nothing here. Let's see. Wait, what? Two fine screwdrivers? I don't understand that. I mean, they're the same size. Looks the same size to me. I guess in case one wears out, I guess. I don't know. That's kind of weird.
Then you have a package hook. Now, let's see here. Or multi-purpose hook is what they're calling it. And you actually have two of those as well. So I guess you could actually loop it to, to loop them together depending on what you've got. If it makes it a little easier, if it's something heavier. So you've got two of those. And then we got one last item here, it looks like. And then that would be the uh the, one, the first thing I thought, let's see, that is the, it's a reamer, a reamer, punch, and sewing all. So you got the hole right there for sewing. Okay. So I guess that's all 73. One, well, it's are kind of, oh, 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 no, 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 okay, wait a second. Did these come up here? Let's see. Let's pull this up here. It's just a backing. I think that's just the backing. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, what's semi safe to get up in there and try to pry it up a little? Yeah, I think that's just the locks on it, the uh, the slip joint type lock on it. Yeah, that's not a tool. Okay. Sorry, not super familiar with these things. So, so all, apparently all of these are the individual locks for the slip joint slip joint action. And so nothing else there. And one, two, three, four there. So, yeah, that appears to be it then. So 73, 73 functions, large blade, small blade, corkscrew, can opener with small screwdriver, bottle opener with screwdriver, wire stripper, reamer, punch, and sewing all, tweezers, toothpick, scissors, uh, multi-purpose hook, wood saw. Uh, did we do the wood saw? Hmm. Uh, fish scaler. Did we do the wood saw? Let's see if I can see anything here. I know we did the one with that had the, the little saw on the uh, that had the saw on the file. Is there a wood saw here? Let's see what's this so this is the file saw and then this was the this fish scaler I don't see the wood saw anywhere this was the blade with the wavy edge. This is basically the serrated or steak knife type thing. I don't remember a wood saw, guys, but it says it has a wood saw. Well, I guess it escapes me. Oh, here, I think here it is, here it is, here it is, here it is. Okay, okay, we missed it. Wow. Okay, so there we have our wood saw. That's pretty sharp, wow. Woo, very sharp. All right, let's see if we've got everything else here. So then we got the fish scaler with the hook, disgorger, the ruler in centimeter and inches. Nail file with metal file, nail cleaner, metal saw, two fine screwdrivers, uh, chisel. Okay, so I thought that was a screw, one of those was a screwdriver, but apparently it's, it's, it was a chisel. The pliers with the wire cutters, wire crimping tool. Um, 
Phillips screwdriver, magnifying glass with loop, pressurized ballpoint pen, stainless steel pin, mini screwdriver. Is that, is that the ballpoint pin or is that, is that something else? I thought that was a writing pin. Let me see here. I'm going to check on something here. Yeah, that's, this is the ballpoint pen. Let's see if we find it, if we come across a ballpoint pen or not. So that will tell us for that it was a ballpoint pen. No, no, pressurized ballpoint pen. Stainless steel pen. Hmm. One, two, three. Where would the stainless steel pen be? So we've got we've got the toothpick, the ballpoint pen, and the tweezers. Where is the stainless steel pen? Oh, okay, okay. I think that's it. Okay, let's let's raise up. Let's get that out of the way. Way down here. You see that? Just hidden there. Okay. Wow. I don't know what, I guess that's used for, that's pinning things together, obviously. Yeah, it's a pin. <laughs> okay, well, that's, a, that one's hidden. Got to know that's there. Okay. Good thing we looked at these instructions. And we've got the pharmaceutical spatula. And the pruning blade, electro, uh, electrician's blade with wire scraper. The bit wrench with the different Torx bits that we already went through. The other bit wrench with the other Torx bits. The other bits there. And, uh, oh, those bits were actually double-sided. I didn't realize that they were double-sided. Okay. See there on the picks. No point in pulling every one of those out. Large blade with wavy edge. The LED flashlight. Universal wrench, multi purpose hook with nail file. Hmm. A nail file. Is that another nail file? Okay, so the, this the multi purpose hook, I guess. It, oh, okay. Let's get that open. So, see, this actually has a nail file on the back there then. I didn't catch that the first time. The multi-purpose hook with the nail file. And the other multi-purpose hook does not have a nail file. Okay. And the reamer punch, the combination tool with the bottle opener, can opener, screwdriver, and wire stripper. A watch opener. Still don't understand how that works. And then the other fine screwdriver. Where is that other phone? The first fine screwdriver. So, show up more than once. No. So, anyway, all right. Well, that's your uh, Victorinox Swiss Champ. Let's see here. The Victorinox Swiss Champ. And pretty cool. Pretty heavy, pretty big. Let's see how the, I'm wearing some jeans with some big pockets right now. So that uh, fits in it pretty good. So I mean, that's about wallet size. It's heavy enough, but I mean, if you really want to carry it, I can. I don't see it being a problem. It fits well. And now if you're wearing some tighter jeans, well then maybe, maybe it would be an issue. But uh, anyway, so pretty cool. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. And uh, sorry about taking so long here. And uh, hopefully, hopefully you had as much fun opening this thing up as I did. Thanks. Bye-bye.